Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to Southern RPG. Now, I've managed to get 10 hours in the game and I just did a whole 10 hour long session of the game itself because yesterday I made a video talking about how all of this, uh, based off of what the reviews were of previously done by Skill Up and Mr. Matty Plays and uh, Mortismal Gaming. Now, I made a video talking about the two different sides where Mortismal Gaming was talking about all the good things to it and you had Skill Up talking about all the bad things to it and now you have everyone on Twitter and X or whatever the hell it's called now and other YouTubers saying about how woke the game is and how mental it is. Now, I've, as I said, I've had 10 hours in the game now. I played the first 10 hours of the game and there is a lot of substance to both sides of this argument. I'm just going to reiterate again what I said in the previous video of how there's going to be certain people like certain things and other people like other things and don't like some things and they do like some things. There's going to be a lot of things that have been said from many YouTubers like uh, Asmongold shitting on a game without even playing it just by what's been said on Twitter, for example, is one of those things where it's kind of like, why would you... Just, I mean, unless you've actually played the game so far, you can't really tell what people are putting up online as true or false because there was a lot of things that have, a lot of the videos that I watched, a lot of the reviews that I watched on the Dragon Age Velgard all over the place was all nitpicking like tiny five second clips of an entire 50 hour game. And just it, it was the same clips of the same scenes getting used over and over and over and over again. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm saying the game is God's gift to fucking humanity. I'm not saying that at all, at all. I will go into what I actually think about the game. But what from what I've seen all over the place is a lot of people are just literally copying the points that have been said by certain other YouTubers and other content creators and certain other reviews and stuff. And then there's just a lot of people. I mean, there was some bad shit done. Don't get me wrong. The EA, the bloody EA Bioware nitpicking and picking and choosing the content creators. Uh, but as we know now, after all of this is done and they have, didn't get their review copies and stuff, several of those cute YouTubers that were picked did shit all over the game, like completely from top to bottom shit all over it so it's not like they handpicked everyone to be completely perfect now obviously they they couldn't have known who would be good and who would be bad i guess those guys that were talking about it being bad probably went into the preview and thought you know what this isn't really that good but if i shit on it right now then i won't be able to get access to the game later on that, i mean that happens to a lot of bloody youtubers that happens to a lot of content creators they sit there and get scared about saying bad things about a game just in case they don't get an access to the next game that comes along i mean developers shouldn't worry about whether someone shits on their game or not if they make a fucking good game if they make the bloody good game in the first place that caters towards the audience of the game supposed to cater to then they wouldn't have to care if there was bad reviews because it's catering to the audience audience that they want to cater to it's their fans the the people like me and uh, many of many of you guys out there who are fans of bioware back in the day there has been a few other things that have come out ever since the sort of the video started first coming out uh yesterday and the day before yesterday with all the reviews that were coming out and there, there was many things that were said and then there was from what i've seen on several other things you can see that all of the written reviews of the game all literally had the same wording like it was it's was actually insane there was people that made videos on that where like return to form was used a hell of a lot through the entirety of these written reviews and on many different of like it like they've been told can you write this keyword in there it's like i don't understand even if ea did do this stuff and even if bioware did do this stuff how the hell did they not fucking think that we wouldn't notice that they're doing this shit like even if they make all the sales in the world and the game is shit it can be refunded within two hours on steam i mean most people will go over to two hours because it i mean you the first 10 hours of a game is usually the best part of it and then it starts to slow down as the progression goes on within the game because the story starts to slow down they get closer to their deadline and they have to cut things short and put a little bit less time and effort into those games but it's been an absolute it's been absolute madness you can see the argument between the, i don't even know what these what are those bloody acronyms i don't I have no idea what they are i only just learned the fact that they're the woke crowd and now they've been given two different acronyms that i just don't fucking understand in the slightest don't really give a shit to be honest because it's all just agendas by people who just want to be liked and all that kind of crap i don't really give a fuck about it so let's talk about how i found the game on the initial like the first 10 hours now i've written down <laughs> my notes on a piece of paper and pencil because i am old as shit so what i've found so far during the game now we talk about the main character and the main character that i picked a voice was actually pretty damn like cool sounding it sounded really good although the writing for the the main character was kind of like i mean i play heroes in every single game that i play i i like to play bad guys sometimes i play bad guys through mass effect i play bad guys through dragon age i play bad guys through Baldur's gate one two three but i always like end up being like well 
every option that you pick for a bad guy is just kill everyone. I prefer to have the more gray area type stuff. More gray area towards the hero front where I'll make decisions sometimes where I'll get angry and just kill a dude because he's wiped an entire village out and I've killed him because like I, me, myself, I got angry. Like there's something that happened and I want to, you know what? I'm going to strangle him to death just to have a, like the gray area thing. And I wish they did have, they, they, there was one up at one moment one tiny bit of the first 10 hours where they actually i'm not going to do any spoilers i don't think i should do any spoilers i usually wouldn't normally anyway but you get a choice of three different things where you can choose to kill you can choose to recruit or you can choose to just let go and there was the three options and i did load the save three times to see and there was the three options there they were there and it was done and you did get to pick the bad the middle and the good now that that was the only one that i've kind of seen so far because as i said i like to play on the more gray good kind of side of things so dragon age Velgard kind of fits the way that i play in a general way of things but there's definitely a lot of things that are, are, are not okay and I've, i'm not really enjoying at all but that that for instance kind of resonated with me a little bit more even though the writing and the 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 actual words that the character is using and how so when you're clicking on the part where you actually decide what you want to say and you you get you have the in you have the words in your head when you click when before you click the button you have the way that it's going to speak and it seemed to always be something else completely like if i want to shit on someone for doing something bad then I, i'd pick the option that would be you're a twat like you're an idiot and then it wouldn't be anything like what i just said like i just oh I don't know. That kind of frustrated me a bit. Another thing that kind of frustrated me was the Darkspawn. Now, the Darkspawn had, like, Darkspawn naming convention in the original Dragon Age games were really good. They were they were kind of, like, dark and twisted, just like the Darkspawn are, and they had the different names. But now they've got things like Javelinir. Like, why the hell would you name a Darkspawn a Javelinir? I... I, I that for me and that's just some little bullshit reason that's some little bullshit thing where it's just like what the hell but we'll move on from that one because that's just like my little petty reason why i was disliking that part the next part is kind of about the maps now the maps themselves they're kind of linear you know how like i loved the original final fantasy 7 but when they did the remake it was all like really pathway limited and the map was very similar to final fantasy 7 the remake as well like the way you look at the mini map and the way that you're running around and the way the paths diverge a little bit to maybe find a little item here and there and blah 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 is very much in the way how final fantasy 7 the remake was done like the the way the maps are set up big open sprawling backgrounds that look beautiful but the places you can actually walk was a like three percent of the map itself so it, that for me isn't good but it wasn't enough for me to be really fucking upset about it because sometimes i tend to explore every little nook and cranny and when i've given a whole map that's like 50 square meters i, I could spend a hell of a lot of time which i do enjoy i do like the exploration but it's just not what this game has in it so i kind of just sat there and didn't think too heavily about it one of the other big things that i really dislike about what what's going on with dragon age Velgard at the moment i will talk about some good stuff here in a bit like i will talk about some good stuff don't worry there's some good points to it but one of the other things i didn't don't like about dragon age velgard so far is that you're not left with any imagination you're not left with any way to imagine what's going to be happening what could be happening what happened you're literally handheld through the entire thing with text pop-ups of telling you exactly what you've just done or like the characters telling you what you need to do or just explaining about what happened so you're not left with any like it's not really a cliffhanger i don't really i can't really think of what the bloody word is right now like i don't write scripts or anything when i do the video i just i just speak as i'm going so it's, it's kind of like i have a couple of notes here about things that i saw just in case i forget a few things but you don't really have any chance of just letting your imagination go wild of any of the story points which was kind of weird i kind of didn't like that at all when it kept popping up and ruining it because I, I like to be left at the end of a quest and just imagine what the dude is going to be doing afterwards. Like, it, I don't need to be told exactly what's going to happen, what my choice has done and what they're going to remember. And like, yeah, that should be an option for some people because some people really like to know what's going on, like the Paragon and Renegade options that will come up in Blue and Red and Mass Effect or in Dragon Age where it come up in different ways. So some people might want to have that, but it should be an option. And I don't really want it to pop up saying, oh, this guy really loved what you said and he blah, blah, blah. I want to find out during the story when he shits on me in an hour because I didn't give him a banana or some shit. I don't know. I don't know why said a banana but i like to find out what my choices are during the story not 
it's like, oh, what was the other game where they actually just said he will remember that? They will remember that. He did, the she did, we did, they did. I don't know. It's just, that for me wasn't it isn't good so far. When I first heard the main boss, another thing I first heard the main boss, uh, the the two of them, the two there's because there's three bosses in this. One of them who was gonna be absolutely amazing and was gonna be really good for the game, and then just like uh, the other two, their voice acting and the the sort of the the sound of the person's voice, especially the female character, was absolutely fucking horrible. Like when I first heard it, it was just like it, it was like me. To talking into this microphone and just putting a voice changer on it that made it slightly sound like an evil demon it just sounded really cheap and horrible and it was it was just really bad it was lackluster and it kind of put me off of those bosses like and i've only seen a couple of bits of them because i'm only 10 hours in there's a really odd moment in there as well where you go in to do the keepsakes when you get in do you finally get into your meditation room now obviously i'm not going to do any spoilers on there but you place the items down and the way that you get to ch it's like it gives you options to choose your personality kind of thing, like to kind of give yourself some backstory. You know what it reminds me of? You know what Dragon Age reminds me of so far? is like a book where there's an amateur writer who's writing a fantasy novel. And I've read, I've read hundreds of fantasy novels from all different authors. Robin Hobb being one of my favorite ones. I mean, Fits in the Fall trilogy is absolutely amazing. The Farseer trilogy, sorry, is absolutely amazing. And it's not even, a lot of people don't even really like it, to be honest. But there's a thing where they don't exactly, they, they show you to leave it to kind of your imagination. So there's a thing in writing called show, don't tell. Like, and in Dragon Age so far, it's just literally been telling me what's happening. It, it's telling me and it's not leaving me any chance to have any imagination to it at all it's almost like they believe that the people that are playing this game are literally uncreative cannot have a single thought for themselves and they need to be told everything like i don't know you know what it feels like it feels like it feels like the missus you know when the missus just turns around and doesn't think that you like she, she'll ask you to do something but she'll explain to you exactly what you need to do in that thing so you could because she just has it in your head that she you don't have no idea what you're doing or when your husband sits there and says right um do you know how to do that like you'll say for instance you'll go in i mean there's there's stereotypes all over the place about husbands and wives the husband would be like the wife would be like oh i'm going out i'm gonna go and do this and then the husband would be like well do you know how to do that like she doesn't she's a grown-ass woman man of course she knows what she's doing maybe she doesn't but if she didn't she'd ask and then there's the other way around where you just like uh you'll get left to do it wrong and then they'll come out and they'll just be telling you how much you did it wrong it's just uh, i don't know it feels that way it feels that way that i can't have any free thinking on what it's, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna i'm gonna talk about that for way too long we'll move on to the next subject i kind of really like the opening scene in the tavern and when you like when you get to and she, you go over there and she's about to tell you where you're supposed to go and you just nut her straight in the forehead and knock her out that was absolutely on point i love that bit and then it kind of just went a little bit nice after that he started off with a bit of a darkness in him and well not darkness but he had a bit of like aggressiveness in him and it kind of progressively became like i don't know some bloody wet bar of soap where everything's really nice and everything's really happy i know they were right in the peer reviews for that one at least that, that for that at least there, there there is only one way to go even when you're angry you're happy and it's, it is what it is now one of the major things i can say that's really good about dragon age Velgod so far right now is that i haven't encountered a single bug a single glitch a single gra graphical error the game is fucking clean it is so clean on the highest graphics i have i've got a decent computer and i'm not like saying that i have anything that but i can run it on ultra clean clean and i haven't had any jittering any bugs come up i haven't been able to stop i haven't had to reload to do something i haven't had to do it's I don't know how they managed to do that. It's like they put the entire the, the entire development time it was made into QA, like quality assurance, because that they got absolutely on point. I cannot even tell you. I don't know. There may be something later on where it's pretty bad, but so far I would have run into so many graphical glitches and errors and like bugs and stuff on a day one release. That normally is the bane of everyone's existence, not what some woke person says in a bloody X Twitter post and blah 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 that's not usually the worst issue that a game has the bugs and that i mean bethesda look at them motherfuckers they've been they've been doing all kinds of madness bug filled games for years and everyone loves them but like <laughs> this game comes out with, without me finding a single bug or glitch or anything 
and it ends up being pretty bad on several other things now okay so far i will do a full full review of the game once i have completed it i i'll have my notepad ready with all of the little notes written through the whole thing so i will go over it fully when we get to the end of the game and i'll probably do some guides here soon uh, a couple of little bits and pieces for those guys that are still playing it but the steam reviews now let, let's uh, let's talk about the steam reviews right now they're mostly positive there's only like three thousand reviews i guess because most people who bought it are going to like it anyway regardless of of what uh, is actually on there like let me just pull this up real quick don't you start bringing up videos mostly positive and it's like seems fine so far combat is much more intensive the writing is painful actually painful that's the biggest one that comes up like writing people are so complaining about the writing um there's complaints about like the characters being a little bit goofy bit pixar bit disney and that's a common opinion across the whole thing and then we have like combat might be a little easy that some people are playing on nightmare personally i'm playing on a normal mode because if i i started on nightmare because i was like okay they said it was really easy so i started on nightmare and it was just bullet sponges I, I could not stand it like so i just put it down to medium so i can get through the fights at a decent speed not too damn easy but not like ridiculously like blowing through it and ruining the combat experience but a lot of people here are finding the combat really fun and they're, they're talking about the 60 dollar price point instead of the new 70 dollar price point the frame rates being ridiculously high even on laptops where the game is running like a dream i mean a lot of these guys are talking about about the reviews that are popping up that people are talking about have either skipped all dialogue and cutscenes or just reviewed viewing in bad faith i mean currently it is actually at where's the bloody amount of them it's at two and a half thousand reviews on steam that are mostly positive i did just find the bloody thing here where <laughs> there is actually a bug someone was going to write a positive review but there's a bug that dodge is a bit broken right now i haven't had that problem at all with dodge not a single thing so I, I don't know what's happening with that but supposedly the game is not compatible with razor and logitech device software i'm using literally both of them so i have no idea what that bug is talking about i have a still series i have still series logitech and razor i have three different products that i'm using right now and i've got no issue with that um so i'm not really sure what that's about there's people saying that they have like that they're having the most fun since finishing Baldur's gate 3 a year ago people are loving the story the characters even the negative reviewers like i'll say this it's not as horrible as everyone made it out to be wish there was a meh button instead of a thumbs down <laughs> it's enjoyable but meh gets a down vote for the bad dialogue the wokey pokey and the ea thinking they could get away with an okay game and the disappointment i mean like when mortismo turned around and he was like uh it's his game of the year what else has come out this year that was actually any good uh, not including dlc you can't talk about elden ring dlc that's not allowed don't say it like an actual rpg that came out this year that was even okay there probably is one but i might have missed it like because you've got the arpgs that came out we've got poe2 coming out actually which is actually probably going to be fucking amazing to be honest so we've got that to look forward to but right now there's i don't think there's anything else that even came out that was anywhere near as like even close to being okay i'm not really sure but anyway that's all we're going to be talking about today i just wanted to get my initial thoughts on the game out so far and what's been happening around and around the game and what, what people are talking about and how people are feeling and some of the steam reviews and stuff and how it's going because I'll, I'll go over it again when the, when i fully completed the game and there's going to be a lot more stuff coming out so i want to thank you all for 100 make sure to like and sub for all your gaming content fly safe and avoid local chess games